There are two ways we can use parameters. Can you name these and do you know the pros and cons? Well, here's a standard way of using a parameter. We've got a sub routine at the top here and this code here has got two parameters. Can you see them? Well, they are width and height. And parameters are used to input data to a subroutine. The first way of passing this data in is passing it by value. And this is kind of a default way of doing it. In this case, a copy of the parameter is passed in. And this means any changes within the subroutine don't affect the original value. Like I say, this is kind of a default behavior. And in paper one, this is the only behavior you'll see. So a code like this will be passing by value. Sometimes in paper two, to clarify, they might do a colon and then do by val at the top. Perhaps pause and see if you can understand what this code is doing. Well, line six is the first line to properly run where my value is set to 15. We're then passing this value in in line seven. But because we're passing in by value, only a copy of value is given to the subroutine. So line two, we're doubling value, but that's not the original value, it's a copy. And so line three will print out value doubled, which is 30. But then when the subroutine finishes and we jump back down to line eight, when we reprint my value, we still get 15 because this is showing that the subroutine was unable to change the original value because only a copy was passed in. Whereas passing a parameter in by reference is a bit different. In this case, a pointer to the original value gets passed in. A pointer is a memory address. And in this case, changes within the subroutine will change the original value. So here's the same code. You can see at the top, I've got value colon by ref, we're passing in by reference. And in this example, we get 30 output twice because line two has the power now to change the original value. And so when the subroutine finished in line eight, my value itself was changed by the subroutine. Now, in all honesty, there aren't too many uses for passing by reference. The key use is when we are passing in large values, in particular, when it's something like an array. If you're passing in a very large array to a subroutine, make a copy of it. It's not very efficient. You're wasting memory space. It's better to just use the original, which is already in memory. The key downside is it's a bit like a global variable almost. We can have side effects where a subroutine might change a value unintentionally.